Okay, Drew, this is your uh, raw video that you wanted about the interface with the Orion welder. Okay, Bob's up to bat. Uh, here's the picture of the actual interface. And what we're going to do is give you a little bit of guided tour um, on how this thing works. And we're actually going to do a weld. And here's a ring that is, uh, what, 14 karat, so... Let's just start there. So let's set up the interface for that ring, the ring split. Okay, go ahead, Bob. They describe what you're doing. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I already have some of my presets already preloaded in here. So it's about a medium-sized gold ring. So I'm going to go to go to my metals, go to my, my custom settings here, and I already got medium gold size ring resize in here. I'm going to hit it, click OK. Now it puts me down in micro micro mode, and that should be plenty to start off with. If you if it's not enough, we'll go up a little bit. But for mo most welds, this should take care of it. Okay, so what you're going to do is actually do the welding based on your preset, and then based on that in your experience, it's going to tell you exactly which direction to go. So we're going to get the first click, and you can tell by the sound when you get used to this that the click actually. Uh, create your thing so here we go okay that was a good click because you could see the arc and you could see uh, the sound and the sound was real crisp and clear if uh, it clicks like lesser or it's dull it means that you need uh, to change your setting. Okay, I just did three clicks. It's already welded It's welded that outside of that ring plumb together. So it's perfect. It's, it's perfect You could take a, a sand little sandpaper and sand that right off and then be ready to go Okay, because that's why we can size the ring in four and a half to eight minutes start to finish with the uh, Buffing and the, the finish work because we only work on a, one to two millimeters of the ring and uh, Let me sand that just real quick here just a little sanding block with some emery paper on it. Basically, there it's it done. Is. It's done. The and now we do the back side and the front side, and it's perfect. Okay, let's go to some more presets and give you a tour of the actual uh, mechanisms or guide in there. So go back and explain this stuff. <coughs> Well, in my metals, like I said, I got custom settings here. I got medium gold ring size, which we just used. I got large silver ring, large gold ring, white gold prong. And then I got Bob's gold for a, if you got a lot of porosity where the properties of the gold aren't real good, it seems to weld better. Um, so those presets are a starting point and they're good to start with. Correct. It's okay, after, after, but uh, when you know it's not exactly right, then, then how do you adjust based on the sound, the feel? What do you do? It's by the look, by the look of the way that metal's melting together. So basically, you're seeing it under the microscope, and, you're, and it's just telling you through experience what exactly to go up or down or in the duration. So, so basically, uh, it's just through tr trial and error and getting some experience. Correct, but those preset those presets will get you really close, and then you can go up and down from there, like you said. Okay, and you don't have to go up too far down too far. So no, that, that's really good. Okay, now let's go into whatever other things you want to see. That's basically it. I mean, if depending on what you're doing, if you're doing glasses, uh, you can get into your your load metals, and you can go through the list. You can go to gold you can go to white gold you can go to page three you got silver sterling silver you go another page you got stainless steel um stainless steel and white gold work really good for titanium glasses i don't have any presets for those because it seems like every titanium glass is a different property so where do you start with the, with your starting point then if you have something like that what if do you do i'll go to stainless steel right here Click OK, and I'll actually start up. 
right about the middle of the chart at 17.2. Okay, that's your that's called uh, a jewel. Yeah, and okay. that's where I would start. Yeah, and this goes up to 150, then it goes down to the micro thing where the V is at the other end, and hey, you can go down to nothing and uh, for your micro type welding. So this thing has total versatility. There's nothing that we haven't been able to to do. I mean, that's it's an unbelievable machine. I mean, I got my white prong, my white gold prong in there. All I got to do is hit it, click OK, and it takes me clear down to the nano mode. Okay. Well, there's your guide or your directions, and it's very simple. I mean, and if you have other questions, Drew, call us. We'll be more than glad to help you. Thank you.